Hello, in this video of Maximum Technology, we're going to learn how to set up multiple view controllers in your own iOS app. So if you're not certain what a view controller is, basically it's a screen in your app. Now, no app has just one screen. Well, I shouldn't say no app. Some apps have one screen, but most apps will have multiple screens. So in order to have multiple screens, you need multiple view controllers. And you can do that in multiple different ways. We're going to be going over a ton. But for example, I have this, and when I click this button, it pops up another view controller. Now, this is a certain type of presenting another view controller. We're going to look at different ways to do that, and we're going to look at really how to build this out. So let's get started. We're going to open Xcode and create a new project. We're going to choose the regular app template, and I'm going to call mine multiple view controllers. Our interface is going to be storyboard, our lifecycle will be UIKF delegate, and our language will be Swift. Hit next and go ahead and create it wherever you'd like. When Xcode's finished, I'm just going to expand my screen and change my simulator to the 12 Pro Max, or I mean 12 Mini, that's the one I like to work on. Now the first thing we're going to do is jump over to our view controller. We're going to look at the one of the more simple ways to set up a second view control. So the way to do this is copy this entire piece of code and come down here and just paste it. Make sure to change the class name to second or really anything that's not view controller. And that's it. That's how you make a second view controller. That's one of the ways to do it. Just to make it look slightly easier to see, I'm going to set the view.background color to red. And I'll set the one down here. Didn't mean to get rid of that curly bracket. If I can type, view.background color equals dot. I'll just say, I'm really having trouble typing. I'm going to say dot gray. And this is how you do it. We just need to present it now. So first, let's create a button in here. We're going to say at IV action func did tap button. We'll just call it button. And if you're not too familiar or don't really understand IB actions and IB outlets yet, I'm going to be coming out with a separate video on those. So make sure to subscribe to see those. And that should help you out quite a bit. But for now, you can just follow along, and it shouldn't be too, it's not going to be too complex, so don't worry. Then we're just going to say present, we're going to say second view controller, and animated true. Now, if that's, if you don't really understand, basically we're saying present this screen and make it animated when we present it so it doesn't just pop up, it slides over. This is just declaring our other screen, but now let's go connect that button we created. Drag on in a bunk button by hitting this plus. And I'm just going to apply some constraints to center it horizontally and vertically. And I'm going to bump up the font to say 24. Now just to make it easier to edit, I'm going to change the background color here to red. Or not on the button, my bad, on the screen. Now, we did this in code, but I'm doing it so that I can change this text color to white so it's easier to see. And I'm just going to change this to second view controller. There we go. Now we just come up to this top piece, right click and drag here, and say touch up inside. It's a standard tap. And now you'll see that when we hit Command R and run our application, another screen that's gray slides up above our red screen we have here. So let's see if this works. We have our red like expected. When we click, boom, our gray view controller is presented. We can swipe down and pop it back up and it works seamlessly. But what if we wanted to do it a bit of a simpler way? So let's delete this class, and let me remove this piece of our function. We'll come back to this button later, and we can delete this view.background color. We're going to pop back into our storyboard, and we're going to look at how to set this up within the storyboard. 
Now, the way to do this is come up to this plus and search for a view controller because we're obviously going to need another one. I'm just going to change the background color to something like teal. And this is going to be our second view controller. We're going to need a referencing file for it. We're not really going to write any code in it, but just to show you how you would set that up so you could reference this view controller in your own app, I'm going to show you. You're going to come under this first yellow file or folder, right click, new file, Cocoa Touch class, and just say second view controller. Make sure it's subclass is UI view controller. We're not going to create an XIB, but our language will be Swift. Hit next and create. I'm going to drag this up next to our view controller and just delete all this comment and this one too. We're not going to need it. It's just a comment to kind of tell what's going on when the view sets up. Let's pop back into our storyboard and let's set the class of this view controller to be this file. So click here and then go under this inspector and for the class just say second view controller. Then we're going to look at something called the storyboard ID. This helps the storyboard navigate around what screens are what. So we're going to create a storyboard ID for our new screen. I'm just going to call mine teal VC. Now what we're going to do is pop back into our first view controller we had. And I'm going to say right in here, let VC equal, this will equal our second view controller. It's right here at the bottom. I'll put open close parenthesis to define that this is going to equal this. And you know what? There's a better way to do this. Just thinking now, we're going to say let VC equal storyboard optional dot instantiate view controller with an identifier. Now this is instantiating our view controller that we're leading to and the identifier of that one was teal VC. So now that we have that all set we should be able to oh whoops it's just giving us a warning here because it wants to know as what view controller so we're gonna say as second view controller and the warning should go away and it looks like I okay we need to present it I guess so present VC animated true there we go now this is still connected so let's hit command R and grab our app and let's see if this works so we still have our button and our button now has code in it again. Let's click it and boom, we get our teal view controller popping up. All right, so now, like I promised, we're gonna look at the presentation styles. So if you type in model, dot, model presentation style equal dot, and you've got all of these options to look at for how you want the screen to be showed. We're just doing the default one, which is the basic presentation style, but there's others, whoops. There's others like full screen, form sheet, um, overcurrent context. You can play around with all these. I just wanted to let you know the code you need to do that. So that works, but there's actually one more method you can use. So we saw that worked by saying let VC equal the storyboard, which is where it is, and we're instantiating it as the identifier teal VC, which is what we set, and it's this second view controller, and then we're presenting it. So that all makes sense. Let's not forget that. Let's hop back in here, and now let's say we don't want to write any code for it, we just want to have this lead to this. We can do that just by clicking here, holding control, and dragging here, and hitting show. 
Now, this has its ups and downs. You can't reference this in code because you wouldn't have created a file for it. I'm not going to delete it or any of that because I don't want to waste your time. But if you had done this, you probably wouldn't have created a file for it, so you wouldn't be able to reference it in code. The better way was to write it out as instantiating it with its storyboard ID identifier. But just to show you that this also works, I will hit Command R and we'll check it one last time before we wrap this up. So it still works. We deleted that code like you saw, but it still works because we had that segue. So I hope this video helped you understand how to create multiple view controllers in your iOS app. If this helped you, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.